Mobile.io journeys can be used to help push participants to the mobile app. The first way is if a participant is on their smartphone and they're trying and they've clicked a deep link on this smartphone. The second way is if a participant has clicked a deep link and they're on their desktop. So I'm going to show you these methods and how with help from branch.io journeys, we can convert these participants to participants on the mobile app. So this link here is what you can use to try this for yourself. I'll post this in the description of the video. So let's take a look. Okay, so if someone has never, um, that they click on the deep link, they've never downloaded Eureka before, uh, let's see what happens. So this is showing that they're in their browser, they've clicked it, I just wanted to show the URL that we're using, but this could be in a text message, it could be um, in an email, perhaps they typed it in, whatever, we would get here. And so what this is, and I encourage you to play with this in a little bit with using this link um, up here, is this is a banner. This sits on top of the mobile um, app landing page or just the, land the normal landing page is underneath. So think of the landing page for Treat, for Sugar, for uh, Empower2. This is a banner that is sitting on top. So if you were to click Continue to the App, it will take you to the App Store. This is still embedded with the same deep link um, that the person either typed in or clicked on originally. If someone wants to learn more about the study, this banner will close and they'll be on the normal landing page. The landing page can have more information about the study. Some parts can be customized, some are standard. That's our just normal procedure. But the main thing to know is that this is sitting on top and this is only accessed um, if the deep link has been configured to show this. You can also see that these are somewhat customizable. You can customize the, the name of the study and then the study card, how it shows here. Okay, so we're pretty familiar with, with deep links. If you click continue in the app, it takes you to the app store. If you download it, you, and it uh, you click open on the app, it'll take you to that study card. So we're all pretty familiar with that. So the only thing new is this section right here, which this is, again, it's called the banner, and this sits on top of the landing page. Okay, um, I suggest you try that for yourself. Okay, what's the second one? Clicks on a deep link on a mobile Eureka app, and mobile Eureka app's already downloaded. So this, um, this participant already downloaded the app. This is what we're also familiar with. If someone clicks on a deep link, telling them to continue or finish their Sputnik activities, this is a deep view. This is that interstitial page that says, hey, it looks like this app or this link is trying to open the Eureka app. And essentially it's consenting. Ask the user, is that okay? Um, if they say open, that will also go straight to the study card. This is also nothing new. This has nothing to do with branch Journey, journeys. I'm just showing it for completion. If you click cancel, um, this is the page that's underneath. It's the same shown here and the user can still click open the app. So that's nothing new. Okay, what happens if a user clicks on a deep link on a desktop? Well, if the, if the study is supposed to be mobile only, this is what this is the option that can happen. This is a web page that would be visited again on a desktop or an iPad, uh, tablet, what have you, that says, "Welcome to Eureka. This research study requires you to download the Eureka Research app." And so, essentially, what we're trying to do is push users to that app. And so, this is the help that they need. They can enter their phone number right here, click send, and they will get a text message within a couple seconds with the correct deep link um, that they originally clicked on to get here. So uh, you can see that that same URL is up in the URL uh, address bar 
And so it's also trackable. So just because someone clicked on a deep link on their desktop or tablet that was meant for mobile, we can still route them to the correct area. Okay, third, or actually fourth, same thing. Um, if someone is on, well actually not same thing, this is a new thing. <laughs> uh, for this option, for each deep link that is created, so for each deep link right here, we can configure and use a QR code, which is this. So to use a QR code, a participant must be instructed or know to pull out their mobile phone and open their QR code reader. So some people have an app downloaded on their phone. There's many free versions. And I know for sure on iPhones that just opening the camera app and holding your phone up to this acts like a QR reader. So let's take a look. This is me literally holding my camera up to this screen and look up here, I get this little uh, notification that says, do you wanna open this in Safari? Sure, so if, now that I'm on my mobile device and I click, if I tap up here, I am back at the start of that journey, which is the very first journey that we showed at the beginning. So remember this is the whole page banner that is sitting on top of the landing page and I'm on my mobile phone. So this, uh, QR codes, they could be used on a web page, they could be used in print, they could be used in flyers, what have you. Uh, the main thing to understand is, is that there is a unique QR code for each unique deep link generated. So for example, ISOP AFib, we have probably 10 different individual deep links that we're using to track recruitment from different locations, there would be 10 unique QR codes. And these can be downloaded as uh, JPEGs. They're just images that can be inserted wherever. So, so, that's, so that's that. Those are the four different ways that we can use branch journeys. Um, so let's talk about when to use them. Okay, so if it's a mobile only study, all of the examples that I just showed would, would work. Branch journeys are essentially designed for mobile only studies to make sure we get people to download the app and to the right place. If it's a web only study, there's really no need. Um, yeah, it's simple as that. If it's a web to mobile study, also it's not needed. Right now we already have a mechanism to take people who are in the midst, they've already signed up on a web study they're doing activities, we already have the mechanism to text them um, the, the link that they need to log in. So there's no need for a branch.io journey. Okay, what about a web and mobile study? So this is the beat a fib example. Also, yes. And the way that we would do it is if someone is on a mobile device, they would see the mobile journey. So that would be this example. So if someone clicked on the Beat A Fib Deep link, um, they would see this banner over the Beat A Fib page. This would be branded Beat A Fib, and they would continue on their way. That's what would happen for mobile. If someone's on their mobile device, if someone is on the web, the idea is they can just continue on the web. It would be the same as if you went to a um, like the Brainy Health website where that's a web-only study. People are there, perhaps on that landing page, there could be text saying, hey, if you want to, you could download the app, but that can be separate from the total branch journey. Maybe there's a link to a special deep link for that study that then um, essentially does this mechanism. But the thing, that is important is that since it is a web study, the deep link will need to just route to the normal study landing page and it will have to be a totally separate link that if someone says, I'm interested in continuing on mobile from the landing page, we can have something configured like this. Um, so that's that. Web and mobile, definitely we can use them. Okay, so what needs to be done to, to use a branch.io journey? 
the first thing is to request for a designer such as Helena to create the mobile banner page. So remember that's this. This is slightly customizable for each study. Second, um, review the intended flow with a study product manager. That's me. I just want to make sure everyone fully understands what the flow is and how this operates in case you have any questions after this video. So I want to see what you're thinking. The third one is we'll need to configure these flows in branch.io. We need to make sure that everything is routed correctly and consistently across all studies. And this fourth one, verify the configuration with the product, the study product manager. So that's me. I want to check and make sure that we're consistently using things the same. Okay, so I suggest everyone watching this to go ahead and try this for themselves. Sputnik is live on production and it the reason is so that we can test this feature exactly. So uh, this will be posted in the description below and yeah, go ahead and try all of these routes.